venous disease is one of the great uh, uh, untreated, undiagnosed problems in the American population. It is three times more common than uh, peripheral artery disease. Venous disease is a killer. Uh, blood clots in the uh, lower legs can lead to pulmonary emboli, which are pieces of clot that slip off and uh, end up in the lungs, making uh, breathing uh, difficult or indeed lead to uh, sudden death with no forewarning signs other than for the presence of varicose veins. Deep vein thrombosis is the third leading cause of death in hospital. Quite phenomenal when you consider the fact that deep vein thrombosis is a hidden killer. You do not know for the most part that you have a blood clot in your deep veins. The only sign that you might have a blood clot is the presence of varicose veins. Varicose veins are a sign of underlying disease almost always. Venous disease leading to deep vein thrombosis causes other complaints. More commonly, without blood clots of the lower legs, we see people with heaviness, aching, tiredness. Uh, these are the signs of varicosity and venous insufficiency. The venous system works by a series of uh, valves. And when the valves break, usually due to hereditary uh, predisposition, these areas are no longer able to transport used up blood, for want of a better word, used up blood back to the heart to be reoxygenated in the lungs. But rather, standing up in the morning, uh, all blood going to the lower extremities, there is no ability of the blood sitting in these superficial veins or in incompetent deeper veins uh, to be brought back up into your general system. So when you consider that the veins uh, carry the end products of metabolism, the lactic acid, pyruvate, ammonia, and uh, so forth from metabolic, uh, this is essentially metabolic waste. So we're looking in a way, for want of a better term, sewage. These chemicals sit in your lower legs and cause the heaviness, the aching, and the tiredness. They also inflame the veins, leading to what is called phlebitis. If a blood clot develops in the phlebitis, that is called thrombophlebitis. And from these blood clots, you can get emboli. So as you see, this is an ongoing process. In most people, a slow process. In some people, a very rapid process. The only clear sign that there might be underlying problems initially is the presence of varicose veins, which is why it is so important, uh, we feel, to evaluate everybody with varicose veins as this really is the only sign that we have that there's an underlying problem possibly. In our office with an ultrasound evaluation, these answers uh, are quite forthcoming and uh, patients walk out with a full knowledge of just what their risks are and uh, what treatment uh, possibilities are available for them. What we do now has been such a completely miraculous change in the proper approach to patients who have problems associated with varicose and uh, incompetent veins makes a procedure for the surgeon and for the patient into a one-hour procedure uh, with no downtime. People are back to work the next day if they wish. People uh, are driving the next day if they wish. Uh, our procedures now are performed under local anesthesia with a laser fiber being inserted into the bad vein at the knee or lower and traveled up to the uh, groin. Uh, local anesthesia is given around the vein. All of this in our hands takes about 10 minutes. Once we are ready to start, we turn on our laser and as that's being fired, uh, it takes about two minutes for the entire procedure. At the end of that procedure, any veins that are existing in the patient, we've already marked. We remove them at the same time so the patient does not have to come back at a future date to have veins removed under a general anesthetic by a surgeon in a hospital. Everything that we do is performed at the same time on the table, at the end of which the patient is off the table, back into her or his stockings, and back in their car and home and ready to go back to work the next day. This is truly a miraculous change and I strongly recommend evaluation and possible uh, consideration of the procedure if indicated. Uh, we in our office perform routine free consultations. Uh, this uh, free consultation usually takes about 15 minutes and I perform ultrasound on all of these patients 
and all the results are forwarded to the doctor who has referred the patient or to the patient himself. The patients that we uh, see on our free consultation days uh, walk out with a full knowledge of their risks and benefits of uh, compression hose, possible indication for laser procedures, or a clean bill of health more often than not. And that alleviates a fair degree of concern on the patient's part. The important takeaway from what we're discussing today is that if you or any one of your friends happens to have varicose veins, it's most important that you come in for an evaluation. Our evaluations will tell you at the end of our examination whether or not you are in a greater risk category for deep vein thrombosis, whether or not you have a problem that should be treated with a uh, laser, uh, whether or not uh, you uh, could be a candidate for uh, blood clots in the future. Mm -hmm.